All right, guys, this is Jacob from Wager Me This, and uh, this is for you guys all that are expert dice shooters. All right, this is for you guys. Got a $600 bankroll here. Take $250 on your dough. No protection. You're, remember, you guys are expert shooters, so you should be able to get this roll through. All right. out of five three two five all right at this point we got 250 dollars protection remember so we're going to go 10 uh, 50 60 60 50 50 which is just a little more than 250 dollars all right so you're looking for a hit here We got a four, three, one, four. All right, so this three, one is going to pay you a hundred dollars for three, or for two, maybe. I meant two. All right, we're just gonna rack it, we're racking everything. There's the eight. All right, so how many rolls does it take to make that 250 back? It should, $70, basically only take three rolls minus a little piece of money. All right. And we got the seven. That was great. I know we didn't make it all the way but we hit some winners it's gonna pay right back redo it can you get through that first roll five five ten all right hard ten uh, it's up to you on whether you want to hedge this out I suggest you should uh, I'm just gonna put two uh, fifty dollars on it in my opinion, you should hedge it. You're taking away a whole possibility to lose and turning it into a possibility to win. In my opinion, it makes a ton of sense. Three, three, six. Okay. $70 winner. Again, we're just racking everything. And it's up to you on how far you want to take it. As long as you hit one hit, you should be you should be golden. Right back on that six, five, one, seventy dollar winner. So as long as you can hit one time, make it through the come out roll and hit one time. You're golden. You can't lose. Well, unless you hit your point, of course. But you can't lose on the seven. Four, three, one, four. So again, we're going to drop two dollars. We're going to get one hundred dollars. All right, we're just going to keep firing at this. Seven. All right. Right there. So we're doing pretty good. It's winning pretty well. All right, here we go. Can you get through that come out? Four, two, six, that's all it is. If you can make it through the come out, you're in really good shape. So basically, that's similar to a lot of strategies. A lot of stuff, if you can make it through one roll, you're you're going to be in really good shape. All right, fifty dollars six. This one, on the other hand, is pretty effective because the bets are big. They don't start small; they start larger. All right, point seven. So that's going to hurt a little bit. It's not going to be devastating or nothing, but it is going to lose. All right, so right back in. 
All right, so this is gonna be my last run at it, and then I would go home. I think this is the fifth run. Maybe, maybe it's only the fourth run. This is the fourth one. I have two more runs. There's the eight six two eight, and and I haven't done anything special. I'm not a good dice controller. I'm just trying to control the dice as I throw them out there. And all I'm doing is trying to get through that first roll. After that, you're in pretty good shape. Oh, we bonked our eight. That is the problem with being a good dice controller, even though I am not, that you'll hit your numbers sometimes you're trying not to hit. <laughs> because you should be able to land it in in the spot where you're trying to go, you know, you should be able to make that happen. All right, there's 50, so that's 250. All right, here we go. Why am I white? Why are you white? I don't know, what'd you get on you? I was going, there was one left of the hardware, and I filled it up and I was gonna well, no, it's, it it's like dirt or, so, or powder or something. All right, so there's a 325. So we're gonna move this over to the eight. Could be. All right, this is our last run. So we need to make this one count. We need this one to make money. And there's a hard six, three, three. So it's a $70 winner. We were doing good, got knocked off. And of course, that's part of this. Play big, win big, play big, lose big. the 12 but five come out throws in a row I made it through I didn't lose I didn't get knocked off there's the nine seventy dollar nine and I'm not saying that's gonna happen all the time but I'm, I am saying that if if you feel like you're a pretty good dice controller that you should probably play something similar to this or play very aggressively if you think you can hit numbers consistently and not throw losers then you should be playing more aggressively and we hit our five four one five so I've been all over the light side I haven't been getting knocked off from the seven as much as I've been getting knocked off just from playing all right so I'm actually just gonna play this way and uh, if it was my shot I'm just gonna put a $10 pass line if I would have ended up in this position all right, now I'm gonna go for this. Try to get my money back this way. There's the nine, six and a three. All right. You can choose what you wanna do with that. I'm just gonna leave it up there. I'm not gonna worry about messing with the odds and all that. And the eight, $70 eight. And again, like I said, I'm not a good dice controller, guys. I'm not. But I made it through five rolls without rolling to come out. Huh? And I could have left out that third roll when I was doing really good. Five, one, six. I could have left then. I was up a couple hundred bucks. I don't know, like three or four hundred bucks. All right, here we go. So what do we got out there? We got $320 out there. So I got hundred there so we're we're about 50 bucks from 600 maybe it's 150 bucks hard four two two again you guys I'm not I'm not I know you I keep harping on this dice control thing but man if you're good at that dice control thing you need to be attacking it you need to be making it work for you all right if, if you if you feel like you're that good at it so there's 250 there and 320 so I mean I got I got all my money back at this point I would I would regress this all off the table that way I could start back over into my strategy I'd play this one out got a four there's another winner so it's gonna win a bunch of times right okay next roll five 
five. Okay. Six. Uh oh. Four, five, six. What's next? Seven. Ten. So I guess I should have left him out there, right? Nah. You had, you had took a beating there. Want to get your money back? There's a, there's plenty. I mean, there's nothing wrong with if you get if you're if you got to lose in. And it turned around and you got all your money back. There's nothing wrong with getting your money off the table. I mean, that, does, that makes plenty of sense. Six, two, eight. So I'm just banging numbers. We'd have been racking money up. And I am not good at this dice control. This is just, I don't know. Luck, I guess. Hard six. So I am all over these box numbers. I ain't rolling horn numbers. I ain't rolling sevens. I'm rolling box numbers. Doing nothing more than trying to do the exact same technique every time. I'm actually picking up the dice in different sets every time. I'm, it's just all about using the same throw, trying to land in the same spot, same speed. And I'm not good at this, guys. I'm, I'm not trying to preach like I can really shoot dice, all right? Point made. Because I don't think I can. All right, so we're gonna go the other way, all right? We are going to put our 250 back out there, but we ain't seen a seven in a while, so this would make me leery, all right? And so, 250. So I would be a little concerned about this one. So I may wait until I saw a seven, but for this video, I'm just gonna go with it and see if I can roll through it. All right, here we go. Six, three, nine. Okay, so we're right back where we wanted to be. All right, we're trying to make big money. Bet big, win big. And of course, you could progress these up as you go, but that takes away from the value of playing all them big bets. There's a hard 10. All right, $2 for 100 right there. So now, as long as we don't roll a nine, we're pretty much way ahead. Seven. Okay, so we finally got a seven. And I hit the rubber first, and that might have caused it. You know, if I would have hit the felt first, maybe it doesn't roll a seven. I don't know. 250, 250, right there. Rack it up. We're working, I mean, we're on the come out. Can we get through another come out roll? We'll see. I haven't missed a come out roll yet. Oh, got our seven. So one come out out of seven tries. One out of seven. That beats the normal average of six. One out of seven. I, I, I was able to get that through. And so what did we end up with? 100. So even after losing all that right there, we still have $522, all right? So it's not like we just got blasted. That's how far ahead we were. We were $250 or 200 bucks ahead. All right, so let's try it again. I'll go one more run, see what happens. 250, all right? So let's set on a real dice set. Let's go on the 3V. All right, here we go. We got a hard 10 hiding under these white chips over here. Get out of the way, white chips. Oh, that's a 10, not an 8. When I sprayed the water on the house, and I wiped the water, it got on me, and that's how it made me white. 
Oh, it did. Okay. So we have exactly enough money. <laughs> we can't, we're not going to be able to get on the hard way. So that's kind of, kind of troubling. All right. Let's see if we can get some wins. Six, four, two. All right. $70. Uh, right here. I would probably go on and put a $30 hard way there just because I'd like to have that number not hurt me right back on that six four two seventy dollar winner this time we're just gonna rack it up just collecting money see how many times we can collect eight Five, three, eight. And again, you guys, this is, if you're playing this way, play with a goal. Once you hit that money goal, get off the table. All right, here we go. And we have a four, two, six. So we're just smacking six and eights, just over and over and over for $70 a roll. Adds up pretty quick. Seventy dollar five. So basically, this is one of the best days I've ever had of shooting for sure, and it's, so it's all kind of coming together. Normally, I don't shoot this well. Normally, I'm not that good at it. But this is for you guys that are good at it. You should be playing this one. You should be playing big. There's a six one seven. You should be going after this. If you because you're a good shooter. I mean, it makes sense. All right, so let's see where we ended up. Obviously, we have our 600 bucks back there. Seven, eight, 25, $827, all right? It was nothing special, basically just straight up craps from the don't, using the don't as coverage and just playing big. And uh, so that that's why like these strategies that I've been running into and everything, they have other moving parts in them but I feel like if, if they just played more straight up with it, I, I think they're going to do just fine. I think it's going to succeed most times. Okay, so it's actually $5 short there. But still, you know, up a couple hundred bucks. Anyways, I, I don't know what y'all think about that, but uh, this is Jacob from Wage Me This. Give me y'all's opinions and stuff. Let me know what's going on. And uh, I know them tutorial videos have been coming out, but uh, I need to make them videos so I can put them on my website for all the new guys, all the new people, not necessarily guys, brand new to craps. And so that's part of what I'm doing there. Uh, so I appreciate you guys if you do hit a view on it for me, that, that helps me out. But of course, you know, they're basics, the very basics of craps. So anyway, guys, you have a great day. This is Jacob from Wedge Me This.